I appreciate the opportunity that we get to at least discuss this and just by the way that we meet and uh, all that goes on so often it's hard for us to stay up on top of the situation. Um, and oftentimes our response is well after the train has left the station. My sense is this is a watershed moment, not only in this country, but particularly for Nashville. I was repulsed and insulted by Chief Anderson and Mayor Cooper's letters sending their thoughts and hope up north. When we have a clear five-year, easily documentable public police problem. There have been demands that have been laid at the table, clear, uh, reasonable civic demands, the changing of training, uh, putting in a uh, review of officers such as Lippert, who had eight incidences of use of force and suspensions before he killed the guy over in Casey. Um, you have a police chief who's been in a department for 40 years. Um, there is a total lack of trust. The community voted for community oversight. And just as two weeks ago, an individual was shot in the leg and they did not notify the Civilian Oversight Board. The board members and the director will express to you right now today their continued frustrations with dealing with the police department. The people have spoken. All we want, all we want is justice and rightness. But the mayor is having a prayer vigil for peace and unity. Anytime for me, and I'm speaking out of my faith tradition, that the king says unity, it's always acquiescence to the status quo. The people's expressions are not unreasonable. We have to be full-throated and reassert as we have in the past for this moment right here. Minneapolis, Nashville is Minneapolis. Don't let nobody fool you. What if Andrew Delkey gets exonerated? What, we're gonna get together these same people to pray for peace. There are two adjectives or two verbs that have to accompany peace for me to make sense of what you're talking about. Peacekeepers stay silent. Peacers, keep Peacekeepers acquiesce. Peacemakers go through sometimes the turmoil and the chaos of creating a sustainable peace. We have allowed ourselves to clearly show that we're more concerned with property, loss of property, than the restriction of liberty and the loss of life. My heart hurts. I have been in a state of flux as we try to reach out and make connections that this is an opportunity for Nashville to lead the way. The issues are already on the table. They have not gone away. But we act like our heads are in the sand to where my frustration is having to remind people, you weren't here for the last five years. You wanna cry for George Floyd's mama? I heard Miss Lee on Saturday. I believe, and again, I know that this is a board and I try to work anywhere I can to do what I can. But for me, this is one of those times where a full throated, if you, this is the cover that the city needs to use to finally make some systemic changes in our own policing problems. Or we'll be back here again when even in this first situation, they're not even clear. The guy, it appears that the guy may have accidentally shot the taser and he slipped and fell in the gravel. The guy never came at him and the guy ends up getting shot in the leg. And when the warrant was taken out, they did not even record 
that he was shot in the incident. And see, now, you may think, well, what does that matter? It matters a lot when you show up in court. It matters a whole lot. I'm going to shut up, but this is a moment. This is a moment. We don't have to talk about what's wrong here in Nashville. We got three reports. <laughs> Department of Justice driving while black and a city paid for policing project. Nashville has never even apologized <laughs> for the harm it caused the community in its over policing. My heart is heavy that it costs sometimes to do the right thing. If you are concerned about Minneapolis, don't act like you haven't been in Nashville for the last five years. We are Minneapolis. And I'm going to do to whatever level your own comfort is to speak to this moment right now, not wait till next month and come out with something. Right now. Right now. Pain, the frustration that for people who have no language, I've been asked by the media and no one's printed anything I've said because there are enough talking heads about the violence. Because when you march through downtown, as long as you don't tear up shit, life goes back to normal. But the minute something happens, we want to turn our attention the violence and never thought about why people were marching. They were marching because their hearts joined with Minneapolis. Their hearts joined with Dallas. Their heart joins with LA. It joins with New York. It joins with Florida. It joins. Policing is a problem for black and brown people. We have, the chief said months ago, there are no, we're not going to do body cameras. We run to the mayor. The mayor issues a statement. No, we are going to do body cameras. COVID shows up in town. The mayor says we're not going to do body cameras. You know what the community heard? Chief already said that. He said that months ago, that we're not going to have body cameras. Now the mayor has a man, the chief, and we're not going to have body cameras, and we're going to hide behind uh, COVID. The chief never wanted the COB. It's worked even now, as of last week, does not, but the people voted for that. So we can write some nice political rhetoric to state our claim, but I bury people. And I have to look at families. And for a man who is dying, and asked to breathe. And he calls for his mother. I've experienced trauma on my spirit. And nicety, talk nice, political, appropriate talk for me won't calm my spirit. Thank you. Thank you, David Tucker.